Start the recording here. Um, so that's good to go. And here we go. In three, two, one. I don't know why, I, did, I didn't realize this until really recently, but um, in everything in here, uh, your dad is always referred to as dad, uh, but the when he's speaking, it's father. I don't know. I feel like they should have put it as dad. I don't, I don't know why it, uh, it just seems weird to me. Got the equipment sorted out right the first time around. I cannot count the number of times I've forgotten to do that. So that was something that I tried on one of my last runs. Um, with Mr. S, you get so many cannot runs and it's so infuriating uh, that if it's just a group of um, one group of enemies that I can just sit here and fire I think it may actually be faster just to do this then get the can't run and then try to run again I'd have to actually time it out I did not do that it feels faster to me uh, feels less frustrating Pick up the bow there for some additional agility. Which is something that I have still been doing. Uh... <sighs> ah, eventually it had to happen. We had to get a fight we couldn't run from. Or that I couldn't quickly just dissolve away. So I did play around with a few things as well when I was on vacation, not just um, trying to speed run these out, but I actually took some time to Try some stuff, reevaluate what I was doing, think about doing things maybe a little bit different. Um, and the one thing that I realized that really didn't help that much is um, uh, getting those bows that I was doing. I was making that first shop in the town and getting the bows to try to get. Um, to try to be able to run more with Key as part of my party, and that just seemed to be an, a, just a waste of time. So we did away with that. I don't know how to get less count runs with key in the party. Like, it's got to be all about agility. Um, I 
I just don't know what's worth it to get high enough agility to get rid of those can't runs. Um, that doesn't take more time than just dealing with the can't runs. It all seems to take just too much time to get rid of those can't runs. Oh, I did try to figure out if it's faster to go left or right from there. It is the exact same number of steps. I did count that one out. Um, and a little bit downtime too on vacation. I was a little bit bored and I was like, I think it's the same, but let me count this out. It is. Uh, there's one spot though in Ashura's Tower where you can go like left or right uh, from one sidewalk to uh, to the other, and it is like three less steps to go left than it is to go right. Um, so you can save a, a couple of steps there. Um, The only downside is, is there's more uh, more of those zombies that can actually get in your way, so uh, you can end up having to take more steps because you get trapped. I know I say this a lot, but I still can't get over that I can beat this game in two hours. I just, again, just with the amount of time I've spent on this game in my life, the fact that I can just, you know, sit down on a Sunday at quarter after two and go, ah, I'm just going to beat it by supper time at six, like 6.30. Like, we'll be out of here by 6.30 uh, central time. I took uh, going in the far door here. Wasn't really paying attention, but it's just it it just still never ceases to amaze me that this game has been just ripped apart like that. Uh, so here with Key, I'm again going to use the same strategy. If it's a single group that she can lightning bolt, then I'm not going to waste the time on the count run. I'm just going to lightning bolt it, and we're going to move on with life. Like this group. And that's all done. I'm not going to eat any random meat that I get from here. There is a... I want to keep the imp an imp because there's a very specific... Um, yeah, this will probably be a can't run, but whatever. Uh, there's a very specific transformation that I'm hoping for out of the imp, so... I don't want him changing into anything, and then, um, obviously the dragon has the most key transformation, um, table schedule, uh, for this entire run. So even though I'm fighting a little bit more, I am still not going to eat any of the extra meat. Yeah, this is a real rough start here with these count runs. So this is the spot. Left is actually a few steps 
Uh, fewer than right. Damn it. Uh, some of those count runs are probably going to be on me. I totally forgot about that. So that's a spot where those guys can end up boxing you in. Well, it didn't make any difference there. So this is, again, shorter path, but uh, you run that boxed-in risk um, with those guys and having to take more steps just to get around them. Hoping that guy would move to the uh, left for me. That did not happen. Oh, wow. I ran from nothing. This is amazing. <sighs> Not running from this. This is fucking amazing. Well, at least I hit with the cold. That's, uh... An iffier one than it should be. Please go away, Key. Also, for anyone who's watching those videos that I did when, uh, when I was on vacation, I had to redo my split timer, uh, I didn't have it with me, and I just, uh, put it together so super quickly um, so it's not set up as nicely as this one is just in case anyone's wondering why it looks different and we go two, and we go there and perfect I did also realize that I didn't have that speed magic equipped. You saw me just equip it there. Uh, man, that's contributing to some of those counter runs. That was a real rough tower. Um, we'll see where we can make up time that. In and out through the door, that was really dumb, too. I, mean, I shouldn't have talked about how much I played this on vacation, and I could have used that as an excuse. I haven't played in two weeks, but I have.
In general, I have been working at the menus. I think those are getting better. One thing I also did is I uh, took some time, went through the game slower, took some risks, like didn't record them, and just to see about the money route and give myself more confidence in leaving some of these treasure chests. If you look back on some of my old routes, I would have picked up pretty much all of those treasure chests because I was just so concerned about running out of money. Um, but now I'm much more confident, and you see, I used to pick up both of those, now I just pick up the one. Now, oh, we're gonna be a little bit behind time still. Hopefully this goes well. Should be one more around. There we go. So nice to be able to run. There we go. First meeting with that as usual. It is. I'm starting to get a headache here. This is <laughs> not good. 20 minutes on the run, 19 minutes on the run. Um, and some of this music is not good for the head. We'll, we'll have to see how this all plays out. Um, but it should be okay. Always annoying when those guys move directly in your way.
The other thing that I also tried to work on to see if I could, uh, uh, the other two things I tried to work on, uh, just to see if I could try to make some changes is, uh, the idea of trying to beat Apollo before, um, before he transforms, because it is possible from what I've seen. Uh, I was wondering if there's a way to do it that was not met with success. Um, I know in every run that I've done, it's always been the Mutant 2 Monsters and the Robot. Um, I did try... Um, I did try the two human run. I don't know. I, uh... Yeah, it was what it was. Um, I did that mostly on the idea of... Oh, God, I missed that. Uh, can I beat Apollo... Uh, first... Uh, before he transforms, because with the two humans, then I actually have... Then I can have two laser guns and actually shoot. Um, the the what I was trying to add to that one to try to make the difference. Did I grab both the treasure chests? Uh, I hope so. Uh, what I was trying to add to that one was, or what my thought was, was trying to pick up magic potions throughout the run, uh, feed those to a dad, and then at the end have these uh, more powerful flares. Clearly I did. Um, I have these more powerful flares and then with yeah, the, the robot and the two humans with lasers and then you've got beam out of your eye, out of the uh, the watcher uh, is that enough can you get dad's magic high enough to make a difference and take down Apollo and in the easy to obtain uh, treasure ch uh, m treasure chest with magic potions because that's one I want right you're trying to save time if I have to go far in my way to get the magic, then I might as well just fight Apollo the regular way. Um, I wasn't able to do it. So. It was a thought. Didn't pan out. I don't know. It's out there in the world now. Um, crap. Went too far. So, I don't know. Maybe someone else has something that they can add on to it. Maybe there's another way we can do it. I couldn't quite make it work, at least on my one try. Because getting Apollo down faster would just make such a difference. Like, getting him down before he transforms, before all of that. Um, uh, there's just such a huge time... Uh, I don't want to say time lost, but time suck in that second half of that fight. Not even half, it's like two rounds, maybe three. Um, and then the pre-fight is like... Five, six if you get surprise. a very defensive stance Apollo takes and it just it really makes it hard to down him when um, 
before he transforms. Um, it's very interesting, though, just kind of from a, a game point of view. They made this guy and then... Uh, gave him so many hit points, and then decided, hey, you're gonna have five free rounds to try to take this guy, to weaken this guy to the point where it's kind of fightable. And if you don't come equipped with stuff that gets through his shield. You're just, you're done. There's no way you're damaging through there if you lose those five rounds. At least that was always my experience in casual playthrough. All about the laser guns, that is always how I beat Apollo. And I'm pretty sure it was Flare. Always Flare on, uh, on Dad, too. Which just makes such a difference. Just about done in here. As has been well documented, this is the part of the game I like the least. But even in a great game, you gotta have something that's uh, not quite perfect. I can't believe it when I was gone for a week, I come back and my strawberry, uh, we're in the hand right now, okay, uh, my strawberry plants were just crazy with strawberries, um, I had two, two food saver containers full of them, it's, uh, just fantastic. Last year was just so dry, uh, didn't get much of anything. Uh, Food-wise, got tomatoes. Those those did pretty well, but um, it's just such a rough year. Uh, but this year has been just the beautiful mix of heat and um, heat and rain, and you know, it just worked out great. Last year went away for a week, and basically everything died because it was just too hot and dry. I think I'm hungry. <laughs> Talking about his food here. There we go. It's such a rough time with um, getting outsped by those guys. Like to be 30 minutes by the time we're out of there, so it's not great, but whatever. Hopefully, we can make it up somewhere. It's 
That's crazy. That was almost 30 seconds of walking through the pillars. I never really realized how long that takes. Really? He got out of my way just to move back in my way? Thanks. Okay, well, the trip out went a little bit better. Just for fun, I went into, uh, into that town and just talked to people. Just it, It's just something I haven't done since I casually played through the game. Like, I just, I know where to go. I know how to beat the game. Um... <laughs> It's kind of neat seeing all the hints and stuff like that. I went into pretty much every town and I just slowly sped, sped run the game, I guess. I still kept the speedrun party together because it just it's so efficient and so good, but um, I just talked to people and just didn't go quick. I also did find out that talking to Apollo in this world is 100% necessary. I kind of knew that it was, uh, but... Okay, that chest, also 100% necessary. If you don't get that, then you don't make enough money for the headbutts that you need to get the agility up to kind of take the robot to the next level. So, learned that one. Um, but yeah, Apollo's like... A huge uh, quest trigger if you don't talk to him uh, then you don't you can't walk off the pier into here also the other thing that I learned uh, just because I tried it what happens if I don't talk to Apollo where does the game break um, so obviously if I can't walk off the pier then I can't get true eye so that cuts out uh, the first two sections of the game uh, but the other spot that it also took out is I, um, Lynn, uh, Lynn's mom isn't sick. She's like not in bed. If you go into the town, you find out that she's sick and that uh, her daughter's looking for a potion for her and stuff. Uh, so that actually doesn't happen. The house is just plain empty. Um, and if you do go to the cave, there's no one in the cave. Like, Lynn uh, doesn't spawn in the cave. And as well, the uh, the end boss doesn't actually spawn, too. The the robot guy, uh, uh, I don't know, Demetrius. That's not his name, but that's what I'm going to call him. Uh, he doesn't spawn either. Uh, you, can, uh, you just walk through the entire cave, and then you walk out the other side of it, and then that's just kind of it. <laughs> It's it's really, really weird. Yeah, you just walk through the entire dungeon, you get to the spot where he is, he's not blocking the door, and then there's just stairs that you take up, which take you back up and out of the cave. Um, the, the thing that I was trying to play with with all of that was... Um, I would really like to do the cave first. It's not a thing that works, but the, this is what I wanted, and then where I was kind of thinking from. Because uh, if I do the cave first, then that gives me the chance to run into the Medusa, kill the Medusa, get the um, uh, get the Medusa meat drop for the imp, which gives me the big eye. That's the meat progression, which is why I'm keeping the imp no matter what. Um, 
for the first part of this, because I need that Medusa meat drop. That's what I'm hoping for. And starting in here, I can start getting the surprise attacks. So my thought is, well, what if I do the... What if I do the cave first, so that I can... Get the meat drops, get the big eye, get warning, and then not have to worry about the surprise attacks in here. Um, yeah, that was the thought, and that's one of the things that I was playing around with. Um, As you can see, we got lucky we didn't get any surprise attacks in there, so it's, it's all good, but... Um, I don't like luck. I don't feel like an overly lucky person in general. Um, I want what I can control. Um, so I don't want to rely on luck of not getting surprise attacks. I want to get the big eye and control that there will be no surprise attacks. Yes, I'm relying on luck for the encounter and the meat drop, but um, I'm still pulling some luck out of it. That was absolutely perfect. So that's what I was playing with, the idea of, okay, well, let's do this first so that I get that drop and then I'm not relying on luck. Um, luck to not get the surprise encounters. Anyway, it doesn't work because at the end of this you get teleported back to the town, that's where you do your shopping, it, uh, you basically get this free teleport, um, which you want to take full advantage of if you... Um, If you do this part first, then you don't have the money to, for the shop yet. Uh, so then you'd have to go back to the town to do the shop once you... Once you run through the other uh, section. Okay, that was a little bit of a rougher menu than I'd like, or than I than what I had been doing, but... Okay. It's still done. Definitely not quite where I want to be on time.
I always think that that section right there is like a, a drink break, and it never is, because you just gotta keep on smashing buttons to, to get through that one. Come on. <laughs> Almost like dad attacked me there. Well, that's really bad. The only item I can now use is explode. Coolio. Second time I walk back into a door that I've left, it's always been a little bit of a problem for me. Start thinking three steps ahead and I forget to uh, go with step one and two first. Okay. That's our fight done with. Come on. Venus's world is definitely one of the longer worlds here. Just look at my best time here, 12 and a half minutes to beat, uh, to beat this one. So. I 
I'd have to time it out, but I think it's faster for me to, if I miss that um, in, it's faster for me to just step out and, oh, come on. Uh, step out and then step back in. Apparently I can't walk and chew bubblegum at the same time here. Like, I did a lot cleaner when I wasn't trying to run commentary and play. said this before, um, but they really missed uh, a plot point there with, uh, oh, are you kidding me? Come on. With Leon. Um, why he opens up the sewers is with what he says, with his dialogue, talking about his leg and stuff. It just, it makes no sense. There's no, there's no logic. There's no story behind it. It um, to why those two things are connected. Uh, talking with Leon is... It, it gives you backstory about the world and uh, him and Flora. It gives you... I uh, think it, it gives you plot and story in that sense, but um, it makes no sense that he opens up the... Um, the, the sewers with what he talks about and I really feel like that's a miss um, on the game's part they should just put in just something uh, to, to connect these two just I don't know I go into the sewers sometimes I don't know my job in this town is to to go into the sewers and do stuff. I don't know. Maintain the sewers, unclog them, whatever. Like, And they're behind the castle, or behind the city. Like, just some plot point there. It, I don't know why it bothers me so much. It, it just does. At least when I talk to Apollo, like talking to him, opening up those sections, his riddles open up the sections to solve the riddles. I, I don't know, it's weird, but it kind of makes sense. Um, Don't quite fully get it. Oh well. So there's that treasure chest that's just down below that I walked past that I used to get all the time because I thought I needed the money. Definitely don't. I have not been getting that one for a little while now. Um, yeah, figuring out missing that one, it's, it, yeah. Definitely helps save time.
Extra steps really do bother me. It's something that I wanted to work on eliminating and I was okay at it, but Seem to have gotten worse at it. Um, this volcano is always so much bigger than I thought, than I think. to go on. Alright. I hate these high fight uh, sections where it's step fight, step fight, step fight. It just really destroys the flow. I don't know what I was thinking there. I almost went the wrong way. That treasure chest to the left, it uh, isn't very far out of the way, but it is not needed. Again, on the list of the stuff I tried to figure it out and just reassured myself I was not needed. I used to grab it all the time. Not that far out of the way, but saved a couple of seconds there and more importantly, saved steps. That's less steps you take, the less chance of a random encounter. This is one thing that I've really realized. It is all about taking as few steps as possible. Interesting thing here. Um, so you see how he pushes you like that. Um, again, on the topic of saving steps, I was like, oh, maybe, maybe this doesn't count as a step. Maybe he pushes me over and I have zero chance of getting a random encounter because it's not considered a step. That is 100% not true. Um, my assumption was very, very wrong. That is definitely considered a step. And when he pushes you over, you can very much get a random encounter uh, on that tile immediately following that little cutscene. So, <sighs> I had a lot of ideas, none of them really panned out, but uh, you know, it, it helped me. It helped me learn more about the game, though, at least. And, um, they just these weird little things that I'm trying and thinking about. Uh, yeah. Definitely one of the longer cutscenes in the game.
so I was trying to keep my last part, and I will keep trying that, my mutant, whatever, um, with no skills, just nothing that they have is effective, right? They just meant as a meat shield for the robot that does all the heavy lifting. Um, So by having no skills, then there's no animation that would play. There's no, um, you know, non-effective attacks. It just, it just saves so much. Uh, whoops. It saves a lot of different things. And... Um, yeah. So I, I was... I am trying to do that on purpose. Keep them with no skills. Just to allow things to be a little bit quicker. Wow. <sighs> I'm a little bit of trouble getting anywhere right now. There we go. Uh, so one of the other things in my whole experimenting with things, try to make, uh, try to make this game a bit faster, um, one of the things I tried was what if I don't heal before the Venus fight? Like what, what's the disadvantage, what does it cost, and, um, Can, can I get away with it? And... I saved way too early on this one. Still gonna try to fight my way through this. And what's the downside to not healing? And what I found out is healing allows that robot to survive one flame. Oh boy. How lucky am I? I missed the save. Holy crap. Holy crap. That could have been damn near run ending. I don't know if you picked it up. Uh, I don't know if my mic picked it up, but I was smashing uh, enter to try to get into the um, end of the menu. And I just did not hit it in time or the game didn't pick it up. I think I hit it in time, but whatever. That was just super lucky. But getting that lucky, that was a huge time saving. <laughs> Went from almost run ending to uh, just. Whoa, whoa! Usually I would speed those guys, that went crazy.
And I usually have pretty bad watcher luck. I cannot believe that worked out. That, uh, wow. Ah! <sighs> Mashing tried to clear that text box and I ended up talking to... Talking to her again. Oh well. Shop went well. Unlike the last time when I was on a really good pace and screwed up that shop and bought a tank instead of a laser and just destroyed my run. Round we go, that gives us the second laser. Quite enough time for a drink in that uh, <clears throat> in that little chat. Venus's world and this world. They have like the longer of the cutscenes. I don't know where they hide the guy. So he just disappears and then is suddenly I don't know. Everyone's there. I don't, know. don't quite follow how that hiding thing works. Be nice if they just showed him walk somewhere and then disappear, not just straight disappear. Okay, so 
Eyes in the group. There we go. Ugh, not the best menu I've had, but uh, I don't know. Brain just feels like it's a little bit slow today. Um, what we got there? Took a second to get that all in the right order, but we got it. And taken care of. Just about done in this world. Is that another really long world, kind of like Venus? Is, um... Best time on this one, I'm just looking at, uh, at my times 13 minutes. Like, this is not a quick world. It doesn't get much better than this, though, for uh, <coughs> for a guard formation. Um, just having the one group there, that is fantastic, because that can be anywhere from uh, one to three uh, different types of monsters. You just got the one group. Yeah, there was five of them, but the beam took care of most of them. Um, the tank would have taken care of the rest. Like that, that was just really nice. mistakes in this castle. Um, this is one of the ones I make uh, going, I sometimes go in the wrong one here. There's one that's just a little bit further in where I also always tend to make mistakes. I had to think about it for a second, but I got this one right. There we go. And then here it's the second one. So we got good luck um, with the group at the door. I uh, got bad luck there. Um, that 
guard group is a mob, that guard formation becomes a random encounter. Once you get a certain distance through the uh, through the castle, but as a as a mistake, um, it, the boss flag never got removed, so I cannot run from that fight. There we go. Okay, that took a second here. Doesn't matter whether I use the shield or not. Um, in this fight, I'm just really just setting up for the next one. This is the one where I actually need the, uh, need the shield. This time beam not gaze. I don't know how I selected the wrong one there, but we got it. Ooh, that's really bad. I need some luck here. I need him to go with swords. Like, I need that to defend with tank. Uh, I still have a chance of pulling this off as long as he does that. And targets A. That's fine. It bought me two rounds. That should be enough. Yep. We're fine. Definitely going into one of the shorter worlds here. If you're on a speed run. If you're playing the game fully through, one of the longer worlds. And we're done. Just for fun, I did try playing around with what happens if I use the Pegasus to warp out of the dungeon and save those few steps, and uh, you get a lot of transition time, and it takes a lot longer. Uh, <laughs> Weird thought, figured I'd give it a try, but no. The Pegasus transition screens are very slow. So there is a treasure chest if you kind of um, go un, uh, go down. There's like a secret wa uh, entrance way into that what looks like blocked off that I walked around. Uh, you can go around. You can get uh, ugh. sorry extra step there. I did not like that. Um, yeah, there is a treasure chest in there. You can get it. It's faster to not get it, and you don't need it. Just again, on the relax, have fun, try to play through the speed run slowly and examine why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, I was one of the things that came up. I figured out that I was just... Wasting my time going for that treasure chest, and the loading screens are slow. And it's all about going fast. <sighs> 
So this will be the last floor. Uh, a little bit of a long trek around it before we get to Odin, but we'll get there. So in the last fight, it didn't matter that I didn't get off the shield. Uh, this one, it does. If I don't get the shield, this is just straight game over. So the tank there, shield, stone gaze there, laser sword there. Let's see what we got. Well, that worked out well. That's fine. Absolutely fine. And we got the shield off. It was looking good. That was also great to see. That is a-okay. Uh, now we really want to see Odin switch to spells, though. Exactly like that. Yep. And we didn't get the meat that would have destroyed. Our gold. Really good Odin fight there. Took two rounds to get the stone uh, off, which is pretty nice, too. Uh, geez, I have, um, I have a run that I believe I uploaded. Yeah, it should have been one of the ones that I uploaded that I did when I was gone. Um, and I missed that. Uh, between Odin and Minion, I miss that stone every single time. I, I downed Odin first. Um, I downed them both the hard way with, um, just with a laser sword. And I, I don't know, it was in the teens how many of those stones I missed in a row. It was just amazing. But that was really nice. That's exactly what we want to see. Final dungeon. I don't want to jinx myself by saying anything, but the, the, <laughs> this is one I ran a few times as well, uh, just for practice while I was gone, and hopefully I will not make as many wrong turns as I used to. You know, if I can get the uh, attacks to stop so I can make a move or not turn. Alright, there we go. Now we're walking. This dungeon definitely likes those hidden, um, those hidden wa um, entranceways like what I just walked through where it looks like it's a wall, but 
when you walk into it, it's actually not. Um, it has a few of those in here. I cannot stop thinking about food. I am really hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna be having leftover curry for supper. I made some last night. Uh, so like here, if you go left or if you go right, um, that's what I was talking about. It's uh, those secret passageways. It. Uh, you get all in behind there, and it leads you to Excalibur. Uh, but they got a few things like that that can lead you to some good treasure. Alright, through here, and then it's the last floor. Here we are on the last floor. I think we need to heal up. Oh, doesn't even matter. Well, there's probability balancing itself out. Um, after all those misses that I got in the run a couple of days ago with the stone gaze, now I'm just hitting it on all of them. That's really nice. missing something, the karate. That's the last thing that I need to equip. There we go. Second last shop, and now we move into the last shop. Just get rid of everything here. And by two tenths. And I always go a little bit nuts on the elixirs because the last thing I want is to have a run die because I didn't buy enough and I'm out of flares, so. Off we go, Central Shrine. Let's fight with our good pal Apollo. Definitely getting better at this fight. I mean, I'm not finding stuff real quick, but... I feel like I had a really rough time with this one at first.
Here it comes. That's okay. Um, so we're gonna do that. Apollo will flare. We'll come back to life. And we should be just about the meltdown stage. Yeah. Probably didn't even need to use that heal. Um, I just used. <laughs> I hate Apollo. It's. I'm sure everyone got stuck on it playing through the game. Um, I just don't want to risk anything. Don't want to get careless and end up losing out on um, losing out because I got careless on Apollo fight. So extra heal uh, is the way to go. All right, final descent time. hate this part of the game. I really do. But, get ready for lots of meat eating, and lots of flares. So that's two flares used. Let's make three. This will make four. So I got one left. Last one. That's all about smashing enter before I get into another fight. Trust me, that is not always going well for me. Just been pushed forward, pushed in a fight, and then that's just... Uh, it runs have ended that way. I guess we know where all the giants are. Uh, back to Giants World, where there were none. Well, we found them. Found more of them. I believe this. Oh, I got one flare left after this. Last floor. Ah, 
Uh, part of also what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what party I want to end the game with, or at the very least. When it comes to that last, uh, that second monster there. Uh, so I'm just often pausing, just have a quick look, see what abilities there are. Um, Try and be cheap and save a flare here, it worked. So what I'm looking for, uh, for that last monster is pretty much anything that has some sort of absorb type ability. It doesn't have to be called absorb. Um, geez, I'm blanking on some of the other ones, but anything with that type of functionality just it just makes that last fight just that much easier. Two flares left, I think. Looking for something that could damage an entire group because the uh, Slepner can live through this. I don't like everything outspeeding us, too. That's kind of annoying. Oh, they did not live through it this time around. Last flare. That's fine. Very convenient because I know I can't be pushed forward either. See, it didn't take them all down. That got rid of the rest of them. Alright, four flares left. I think I have two more floors after this. Ice is getting out sped all the time is really like a problem for this. Again, stuff in here can live through the flare. Once again, getting out sped, like, this is ridiculous. I still have a couple of flares left. Two. Okay, I was not sure. I got one. We're going for one. We are resetting until we get one. I'm not fighting four of those things. I've 
Even two is dicey. There we go. These things are tough. I'll save a flare here. Uh, like. I didn't want to save, I wanted to do that. Um, oops, whatever. Again, still really getting out sped there. Like, this is annoying. Three flares left. After this, two flares left. Strike first? I did not know I had anything with surprise. I've not really been paying attention. Oh, it's gotta be that new monster that I got. I learned about. Tent up, save, and let's see what we got. Not bad. Like in the quake. Wish I could have got down another cannon, but whatever. Wow. That even has recovery on it. That's kind of nice. Never got this guy before. Alright. Moving on to phase two. That's fine. Nice little overall there. Ugh, Bash sure doesn't hit for a lot, but oh well. Ooh. We need some roll rolls here. That's okay. Time. There we go. Sweet. Oh, 
that's going to be a new personal bus for me. Whew. Oh, we did it. 143. I already have a 143 run that I've submitted. Um, that moved me into 12th place. This I don't think is going to help me out much, but oh well. <sighs> Let that go through for a little bit. There, let the, uh, yeah. Uh, three minutes. I really, I really want to hit 140. Like, 140 is the goal. That's what I want to try to hit. Um... That 140 to 145 range, that seems to be where most of the speedrunners are at. Um, I'd love to try to get 140, and, uh, yeah. It's possible. Obviously, like, the top run has 134. It's just going to take some more practice. Getting good watcher luck makes all the difference in the world, though. I've wasted so much time restarting trying to get uh, meat drops or, yeah, meat drops or just get one watch or get away from the threes and the fours. <sighs> oh, we did it. All right. I'll stop it there. Um, I would like to thank uh, everyone for who tuned in for tuning in. Uh, this was a blast, and uh, have yourself a great night. <laughs>